Hey, how's it going? I'm Joe Walsh from Witches Rock Surf Camp here in beautiful Tamarindo, Costa Rica, giving you an update for Sunday, September 20th, 2020. Good news! Costa Rica is finally opening up to lots of countries, including Canada and the following U.S. states, starting on September 1st, Connecticut, Maine, Maryland, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, Vermont, Virginia, and Washington, D.C. residents can travel to Costa Rica starting on September 15th. U.S. residents from Colorado, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, Washington, Oregon, Wyoming, Arizona, New Mexico, Michigan, and Rhode Island can visit Costa Rica. And starting on October 1st, residents from California State can visit Costa Rica. So what else do you need? You need to complete an online epidemiological form. You can find that at salud.go.cr. Number two, you to show proof of a negative PCR test for the coronavirus. The sample for the test must have been taken no longer than 72 hours before departure. Number three, you need travel insurance. This could be a pre-approved Costa Rican policy or an international policy. It needs to cover COVID-19 related expenses, including $50,000 for medical and $2,000 for lodging. Please keep in mind that tourists from these states or from any authorized country such as Canada can fly from an authorized state through an unauthorized state such as Florida or Texas in route to Costa Rica. The maximum layover time is 18 hours and the traveler cannot leave the airport. Uh, tourists coming from anywhere but the United States must have remained in an authorized country for at least 14 days before travel. Please also note that U.S. tourists visiting Costa Rica need to bring a valid driver's license or state ID proving residency of the state that you're in and accompanying minors will not need any sort of driver's license or ID. Other good news, national parks are open, beaches are also open. They're open every day till 2.30 p.m. But it kind of seems like police lately have not really been enforcing that rule. If you come down here, you'll see that people are on the beach at all hours of the day. So that's been pretty good. As far as weather and waves, hey, it's the rainy season, but uh, Honestly, we had a really heavy start to the rainy season this year. Lately, it seems like it's tapering off. I don't think the rainy days are done, but you can expect plenty of sunny skies. And surf's been pretty consistent, been pretty fun, and definitely not a lot of crowds in the lineup, so that's good to hear. Look online to book your flight. You'll find the ticket prices are really cheap right now, so that's good to hear. Besides that, hey, if you have any other questions, need anything at all, or if you're just ready to book your next trip to Witches Rock Surf Camp, give us a call at 1-888-318-7873, or you can email us at witchesrocksurfcamp at gmail.com. We're really looking forward to seeing you down here. I know it's been a crazy year, but hey, the waves are still breaking, sun's still shining. We're having a true Pura Vida time down here in Costa Rica, but we miss you. So hopefully you can come down here and join us soon. Pura Vida.